apple cider in the crock pot. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. On the count of three. One, two, three. On the count of three, we'll come back and show you what it looks like in one, two, three. Could you at least do it in time? <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy and my beautiful daughter, Miss Ed. And Hello. today we are going to be making cinnamon apple cider. C cinnamon apple cider, it is. This is an easy recipe. This is something that you can do in the kitchen and involve your kids. Yes, I'm wearing a tank top, Miss Ed's wearing a t shirt, and that's because at the day of this taping, it's 88 degrees outside but it's getting close to fall, it's gonna cool off, and there's nothing better than a nice hot drink in the middle of it. Now I know when you're thinking fall, you're thinking pumpkins. Maybe a pumpkin spice latte, mochiato, cappuccino, frappuccino from Starbucks, but we're an apple family around here. We do like the pumpkin, but we like our apple drinks around here, and yep. today we're gonna do one that's so easy, it's two ingredients, and it's gonna involve a lot of fun with your kids. And even whenever it is really hot outside during the day this mm -hmm. time of year, it gets really cool at night. So it does. we're going to put it on and we'll have it for this evening. We'll be sipping on the Redneck Party Deck all bundled up with our cinnamon apple cider. And all you need are the following ingredients. A whole lot of apple cider and a whole lot of candy. How, what's the, how much is that, Ad? Do you know? Cup. That is right. That is one cup. You need one gallon of apple cider and from your choosing. And one cup of Red Hot. And one cup of Red Hots is right. And, and also, gonna... these guys tell me that this won't make the drink spicy. Yeah, so if you, if you don't like hot things, you know, maybe some kids don't like hot things. I know my little girl doesn't like cinnamon's hot spicy stuff. Yeah. This is just going to sweeten it up and give it that cinnamon flavor. So all you do is simple. I'll pour in mine, you pour in yours. Ready? Go. Gracia, you win. Yeah. Probably because I had a lot less than you. And I'm just going to check with the boss and the whole thing, may, right? Yep. Okay. And also may have a small cup of it. I really uh, like apple cider. Hang on. Oh, just yeah, a second. As soon you will hear in just a minute. The um, apple cider mm -hmm. might need sh shook up a little bit. That, maybe our uh, I think you slow got a cooker four is quart. a four-quart slow cooker. We were asking, she was asking for the table, is this a four-quart or a five-quart? I'm like, I don't know. It needs to be at least a four-quart. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't a three, yeah. or else I'd have to clean that up later. <laughs> I'm going to dredge a little bit of that out. Okay. We're going to cook it on high for two hours, stirring occasionally. And what you're going to see, aw, what you're going to see is your brown cider is going to turn bright red, which is super fun for the kids. And if you'll notice, see this cup right here? Veggie tail. My little girl has had this cup since she was a wee little girl. Yeah. You know how you accumulate stuff over time and you just can't get rid of it? This is one of them things. I just can't get rid of this. Yeah. He's taking that out because we're using too small of a slow cooker, not yeah. because that's a step in this recipe. Can I have a sip? That's yours. You can have it. Yeah. So. Now to clarify, oh, we started with a jug of cider, not apple not, juice. Not juice. You could technically use apple juice if you wanted to, but cider's going to have a better yeah, flavor Yeah, cider's going to have it. a better bite to it. I am splashing that yeah. everywhere. Just go on and, and put the lid on it. Let it cook for a while, and they'll start to melt. And this is high for two hours, right? High for two hours, yep. So high, we'll put it on for two hours, and at the snap of a finger, we'll show you what it's like and give it a little taste test. We're going to do it on the... <laughs> Somebody couldn't wait. <laughs> so on the count of three, we'll come back and show you what this looks like. One, two, three, and we're back. And it's been two hours, and our cinnamon apple cider should be done. You can see it's really, really red, and it's still really, really full. So be careful <laughs> yeah. with that, y'all. If you use a four quart, we should I, probably I, use a five. I would highly recommend not using a four quart. Yeah. I don't know who was in charge of that this time. <laughs> I won't point any fingers. Oh, that oh. fly. This is like this. Yeah, it's, it's the, the fall. fall. So the doors are open Brings way too flies. much. Yes. My milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard, and evidently our apple cider brings all the flies. To the yard. <laughs> all right, Abby, you want to give me your mug, and I'll get you a little bit. Now you gotta be careful. It's hot. Because this is hot. Mm -hmm. It smells really, really this good. This is perfect around the campfire. Mm -hmm. 
Daddy wants to make an adult version soon. That's right. You see, it's one of those where if you're going to cook with your kids in the kitchen, maybe you might want to reward yourself with a little adult version of this, you know, kind of take the edge off. <laughs> and I would think that if you were to take some cinnamon whiskey, like, oh, I don't know, maybe Fireball, maybe some Jack Daniels cinnamon whiskey, something like that, I would imagine it'd probably go good with it. So she's evidently scared that it's too hot. You want to try it? Hold on. Oh, wait. Cheers. Wait. Hold on. Those are some fancy mugs you got there, guys. Oh. Did you notice that? <laughs> a Croc Star mug and a Croc Posse mug. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll put a link down below in the description where you can actually get the very mugs that we are using right now. <laughs> try it. Well, I'm not going to burn my tongue. It's not too bad. It's not that bad. It was on warm. That's really good. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> this is really good. That, those cinnamon red hots, I'd even add more cinnamon red hots. Actually, no, I'd be fine. I'd probably take a couple shots of fireball. There. <laughs> but it's really sweet. You got that. It's not like, you know, it doesn't burn your mouth like cinnamon would. It's just got a really good cinnamon taste. <laughs> and it warms the belly. That is really good. You like it? Perfect for the next campfire, huh? Oh, yeah. Can we? <laughs> oh, you want to bring it with this camping? Yes, I want to bring it with us this October. We might have to do that. We want to thank you for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the kids in the kitchen. With me and Miss Ad. And if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't become a member of the Croc Posse, you can always be a Croc Star and subscribe down below. And you'll become a member of the Croc Posse. We thank y'all for watching because if you keep watching, we'll keep cooking and all will be well. Bye. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what you're making? <laughs> making. Three, two, one. Look at the camera. Now that. Ready? Three, two, one.